Hello, this is David Benign from Excel Consulting. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deal with a very typical office problem. So you have some data here, and some of it has blanks. And there's 3,000 rows of data, and I want to know very quickly which columns and which items have blanks in them. So we're going to use Power Query for this tool. Power Query comes built into Office 2016 or more recent. Um, and it's a really, really useful tool. So I'm going to select uh, all of my data. And I'm going to go to Data and get data from Table or Range. If it's already formatted as a table, then it will open up the Power Query Editor. Otherwise, it may ask you uh, to create a table as you do it. But it's very quick. You just press Yes and OK. So it'll open it up like this, and then this is not even Excel anymore. It's four different tabs about data transformation. So I'm just going to show you how to solve this particular problem. First, you go to Add Column and choose Index Column. It starts from zero and just keeps adding one every time. Then I'm going to replace every value that is missing, a null value, with the word missing. So I'm going to select all of this, and I'm going to go to um, Home and Replace Values. And I'm going to write Replace Null with Missing here. Press OK. Now you can see it's replaced all of those. It's like a normal find and replace in Excel or other programs. The next one I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this index column that I added, go to transform, and I'm going to go unpivot columns, unpivot other columns. Then these are going to turn into rows. There we go. So now what I've got is a column that has every single um, column, previous column name and then the value for each of those. So if I go back here I can see how it looked account, branch, brand, etc. And then I go here and I can see how it is now. And my index is now duplicated with was it seven zeros, seven ones, etc, etc. Next what I want to do is filter my value column to only say the word missing. I'm going to press OK. And it only says the word missing. And then I'm going to select the index and the attributes tab and go to home and not remove columns, but remove other columns. There we go. I don't need it because it just says missing anymore. And then I'm going to press close and load or let's rename this column first. So, well, I'll rename this to row number, and this one I'll rename to column name. And I'm going to press close and load, and it will then create a new worksheet. Or it will create a connection in this case because uh, I changed my preferences, but if I click Load To, I can load it to a table in a new worksheet. That's normally the default if you haven't changed it, but I like to change it to be more efficient. And now it's got all of these blanks. And finally, this is dynamic. So if I fill in these blanks with something, So now it finishes a row 35, but if I want to change it and I click, uh, I can right click on the thing and press refresh, and then I'll have fewer blanks so it's gotten rid of more of them there. It also is dynamic if you add new rows to your table, etc, um, etc. Et Alright, great, thanks for watching.